As you would have probably seen by now, I have a saw stop contractor saw and I'm quite happy with it. One of the things I've mentioned before that I want to change is the wings on it. So I had the default stamp metal wings and I've finally got around to buying the cast iron wings. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the process of changing those over. It'll be the same for most table saws, particularly contractor saws, but there may be some specific stuff to the saw stop contractor saw. So when you buy the wings, this is what you get, the two wings. They come in a box, obviously. Um, there's one without it, some hardware and pretty brief instruction. That's so it'll pop out these wings and degrease them as like with all cast iron, it'll come plenty greased so it doesn't rust in transport. After unpacking each one, you can see how greasy they are. With pretty much all of my cast iron, I've used WD-40 citrus base to grease it. It seems to work well. Spray on, let it soak for a bit, and then wipe off. Next, the saw had to be disassembled. You can see this was the same time I was building the miter saw station, cabinets, and the router table. I only wanted to disassemble the saw once because it's a bit of a pain to reassemble everything. After the saw was disassembled and somewhat badly cleaned, the wings go on but they're only loosely tightened. The four bolts will hold it up. Next it's a matter of getting each wing level, which is an easy process but it's kind of tedious, slow work. Level and tighten the front, then middle, then back. If you can't get it exact the first time around, loosen it slightly, then some light percussive persuasion does the trick. To be honest, this is the absolute worst bit of the upgrade process. Two M6 bolts hold the control panel on and it's just fiddly because it's really difficult to get a wrench in there. The saw goes back together much the same way it came apart, bolt on the front and back rails. The only change is to the extension wing as there is an additional bracket that gets screwed on that isn't there with the stamped wings. I thought the bracket was kind of neat. It both attaches the extension wing and is also used to level it. A fairly simple upgrade. All that's left is to wax the saw, which I used way too much of. Pro tip, if you're an idiot and you use too much wax like I did, you can easily cut it back with some terps. After the wax dried and it was buffed out, the crosscut sled has nearly no friction. You nearly need to attach a bungee cord so it doesn't go flying. I'm happy with my upgrade, less friction, more weight and noticeably less vibration.